Fedora and Red Hat Enterprise Linux fundamentally have two different objectives. Fedora is all about rapid innovation. It's about collaborative development and quickly getting new features and capabilities into the hands of developers. And what's really cool is that the approach that we take for the community to participate and engage in Fedora is the same as for Red Hat engineers to contribute in Fedora. So through this level playing field, we're able to have a feature process that makes the community aware of when, when new features are coming out to provide a means for them to cooperate and participate and also the way that they can engage with Red Hat to really advance the state of Linux technologies. And so you can see that through this open source model, we're able to combine the benefits of open source collaborative development, yet resulting in solving real business critical problems in the form of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Now let's look at just a few key technologies to just show examples of how we've innovated, developed technologies within Fedora, and then we're able to utilize them to solve real customer problems within Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Network Manager is used to control, oddly enough, networks. And it's great for things like wireless devices. It even integrates other technologies like Bluetooth. In the past, you used to have to be a guru using all sorts of Baroque complex utilities in order to be able to get networking. Now, through the benefits of Network Manager, we can seamlessly do that and improve usability. And usability is a great benefit because it makes Fedora more approachable. And the more people that can use Fedora, the better it is for all involved. Another example of technology that we've done together between Fedora and Red Hat Enterprise Linux is called Policy Kit. Policy Kit is a technology that enables you to specify exactly what system administrative tasks can be performed on a system. Within corporate enterprise deployments, it might be the case that they'll give you a laptop and they only want you to be able to change the time zone, whereas they might not want you to change the time for accounting purposes. That's one example for controlled enterprise deployment. My other favorite example is my own mom and dad. Now, people often like to say that you know, not your father's Linux and think that that's cool. But I think the opposite is true. I think it's great that my parents are able to use Fedora. And so I can set up Fedora on their system and I can use Policy Kit to make sure that they don't shoot themselves in the foot. The last example showing the cooperation between Fedora and RHEL are a lot of the graphics enhancements that we've been delivered. And these you'll see appearing in, in the latest release of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. These are things like being able to effectively plug in projectors and display units and have them work seamlessly without having to manually go in and specify the configuration. It's being able to use docking stations, improve suspend and resume. So the whole diversity of desktop features that we've worked through in Fedora. This is really the essence of what Red Hat is. It's about community, innovation, and customer support, all made possible through the combination of Fedora and Red Hat Enterprise Linux. Thank you.